Hey guys and girls, Big Willie here. We're back, and yes, it's catfish season. We got the big chunks, the mackerel heads, and our blood ready to go. Wanna show you some of the new systems. Some people wanna see how we're catching some of the fish with the lighthouse bobbers. These work great, raising your bait up above the grass and they have a Kim light in there. This is a slip bobber rig, and this is a spring bobber rig. Just clip it on the line and throw it out. These ones work a little bit better. And we're using big hooks, guys. If you take a look, we're using some six odd, sometime even some up to 10 odd, and we have some that are already snailed, but they're about six odd, and we're comboing, putting a little bit of worms on there and making them move around. Um, if you've seen some of us out there, Big D and everybody's using stink bait. This is the triple X blood stink bait. Um, in survival tactics, you could use this rag, cut it up and put it on the hook. You never throw away your stink bait rag or your stink bait hook. I've had this one for about 20 years. Once you get to your stink bait, um, it should be all oily, just like this here. And you can see, I do have a sponge in here that's been marinating. So it's kind of ready to go. So what you're gonna do first is mix your stink bait up. Get this oil mixed down in here. And when it's cool, it's a lot thicker. And sometimes I'll put it in the ice on my ice chest to make it coagulate a little bit better. But that's why we make a super sand for guys fishing and it's hot and this stuff is real runny. Now this is a fish food that's fed to catfish, hatchery base, plus our secret formulas in there. A little bit of everything is in here. I'm gonna show you guys how this stuff works. This is one of our floating hot dog rigs. Rodney is working the camera. He's barely being able to handle the stink bait. He's a bass fisherman, so <laughs> if you hear anything, that's him choking. But uh, I've been skilled in the game. So when the stink bait is in here and it's a little loose, yeah, it's gonna come up like that and sit on there. It already impregnated through the sponge and the oils are in there. It's gonna fling off when you guys throw it. That's what it's supposed to do. When it's nice and wet like that, we're gonna put it in the sand and we're gonna shake it around. If you're like Donnie, you can stick your hands in there and get it all up in there. And now when you pull it out, you got a nice covered piece of uh, stink bait that's gonna send crumbs, all that home cooking out and bring those fish into you and keep fish all around you. And it works a number of different ways. Sometimes we're just using a macro head and I'm gonna pin a 10 odd right on this macro head. He's nice and bloody, 10 odd goes right through him. Now this is a method that you don't need any weight. This macro head is heavy enough, get on the black top, Throw these right out. If you want to dip it in the stink bait, yes, you can dip it in the stink bait and then throw it out and get into them. These are just some tips and tactics from our store. We are using the Carolina rigs, um, tossing out past the weeds, Doc 2526 or the blacktop has been really good. And the triple X blood shrimp has been good if you're gonna use Carolina rigs and get it um, down, but you want to get out far past the weeds. Otherwise, fly line, let the bait fall right on the weeds, and you guys will tear them up. We got the mackerel chunks ready again. Big Willie, see you guys on the lake. Night fishing coming up. We also have our July ocean trip. Got a few spots left. Jump on there. We got the fishing reports up again, and all the night fishing on the amazing fishing page. Big Willie, see you on the lake.